The DA in the Western Cape and several high-profile Afrikaans singers are protesting at Paul in the Boland for the continued preservation of the Afrikaans language monument. Provincial DA leaders are leading a march from the Strydog Garg, which will be followed by a protest concert at Zumalast. The protest follows a recent motion that the word Afrikaans be removed from the monument. For more on this story, we take you now to SABC News reporter Vanessa Puna, who is and Paul, Vanessa, good morning to you. Talk to us about what's happening there now. Yes, uh, good morning to you. And at the moment, um, you'll hear behind me quite a festive sound as uh, Afrikaans artists uh, are taking part in this protest concert here in Paul. Of course, uh, this uh, for the protection uh, of Afrikaans at the Afrikaans uh, language uh, monument. Uh, joining me now to speak more about uh, this event is, of course, uh, an artist himself as well as organizer um, of this event, Herman uh, Kleinans, uh, just a bit earlier on. Uh, members of the Democratic Alliance, along with its uh, interim leadership uh, leader, uh, uh, Tertius Simis, and other senior leaders, also uh, embarked on a march through the streets of Paul. But let me bring in Herman Kleinens here for a moment. Herman, a very warm good morning to you. So basically what we're experiencing here is your vase, your stall, uh, protest concert. Let us talk about the origins and the reasons for this concert in the first place. So it all started with obviously the motion to remove Afrikaans from the language monument, the Afrikaans Tal monument. And in the end, I think what makes South Africa the special place is language diversity. I think it's really part, just part of, of, of who we are as South Africans. We are this diverse country and it's amazing. So denying any of the languages is actually just denying uh, that we are willing to cooperate, we're willing to work together to work to a brighter and better future. So in th I think in the end, it's a bigger than just taking away Afrikaans and tournaments. It's actually telling us that um, we don't want to work together. And I think that is where the problem comes in and that is why we are here today. So as, as an Afrikaans artist, um, as a member of the Afrikaans community, and even when we listened uh, to uh, political leaders from the DA just now, they were talking about uh, the fact that the museum or the monument itself is indeed inclusive. Let's talk a bit about the monument. I know it's been erected on what the 10th of October 1975, um, but let's also talk about the fact that for um, a long Large uh, section of South African society, the language of Afrikaans, and we know the history. Um, you know, colleagues will tell us um, that it's, it's it's so painful. You're saying that the monument itself actually speaks to the inclusivity of the language. Let, let, let's talk about that. Um, what exactly do we see at the Afrikaans uh, Tal uh, monument? I think in the end of the day, we literally just see a monument. It is what it is, and it's dedicated to Afrikaans, obviously. And I am all for inclusivity, obviously. Uh, but I'm, I'm just thinking that in the end of the day, working together brought us where we are at this moment, and that it's such a special place. And denying any of the languages, and the, once again, if it was any of the languages, I would have been here as well. It's not just about Afrikaans and the monument. It's about denying what we actually accomplished. And we've accomplished something amazing, and we need to work together to even a brighter future. And like I said, uh, so Afrikaans as, as a language, the monument, um, it just is what it is. It was erected for, for Afrikaans, I think. And um, obviously, I think we can use the two, 22 million rand to build more monuments. <laughs> but don't change what we've got. Let's rather keep working together because it's special. Tell us a bit about the artists that are performing at this uh, concert here, this protest concert. At the moment, we've got uh, Churchill Nadir on stage. We had Botanist Coffee, uh, Gian Groen, Jan Blom is here. We've got Tino Sinje. Um, and so there's a, yeah, just a lot of artists that are phoned on Wednesday and everybody who's willing to come and, come and play. Um, yeah, we've also uh, have Len Miller coming up. So yeah, it's one exciting morning. <laughs> Thank you very much for speaking to us, Herman. We do appreciate Thanks it. Of course, Herman Kleinans there. Uh, one of the Afrikaans artists uh, organized uh, this, uh, what uh, is called a protest concert, and of course, uh, following a march by the Democratic Alliance. And also, as we arrived in Paul this morning, we also saw members of uh, the Freedom Front Plus, and they were telling us that they've also come uh, to this town in support uh, of uh, preserving the heritage of Afrikaans and also uh, uh, stating their view a disagreement with any proposal uh, to remove Afrikaans uh, from uh, the language monument or the Afrikaans star monument uh, erected here in Paul.